Ah, Microsoft. Dude, my... Microsoft slash Xbox has been the source of so many negativity in the gaming industry the past, I don't know, six months, years, right? And they, they, they seem to, I mean, they still have no clue what they're doing. And, and that's, for example, this, um, uh, it's from Tom's Hardware website. Rog Ally runs better on Linux than the Windows it ships with. New test shows up to 32% higher frame rate with more stable frame rates and quicker sleep resume times. Okay, so now I, I, I don't know. I mean, we, we're going to take a quick read, but I want to say this um, before we read it. I didn't, still didn't read it. Okay, we're going to see it together right now. Now I'm not sure if it, if if it's talking about the uh, when when it mentions Linux I'm not sure if it's talking about the Steam OS you no know, that comes with the Steam Deck which is dude it's so good the performance is incredible or if it's just you no know, plain Linux um, installment you no know, the, the the Linux desktop average desktop default installation that I would make on a PC. What I do know is that this, uh, well, I mean, now that I'm looking at the at the picture, yeah, I think it's the Steam OS. This is pretty much the Steam's, Steam Deck's um, user interface. And if I'm not mistaken, Microsoft has developed a special Windows version, like a handheld portable Windows version for this, especially for this device. And I, I've been saying this for a long time now that if Microsoft develops a new operational system for a handheld, they are 100% going to utilize it for future hardware releases. Uh, the, because, I mean, right now, I'm sorry, Xbox fans, okay? I'm gonna say this as a former Xbox fan that I, that I am. I, I still love the brand. Halo is still my favorite game franchise, okay? But I'm gonna be very clear with you guys here. Please don't get mad with me. This is just reality. Xbox has died. It's it's already gone. No, it's already dead. I was taking a look at, at the VG, the latest VG chart. Actually, let me show you guys. I think it's, I think it's better if I, if I just show it to you guys very quickly. I wasn't planning on showing this here, but let's let's do it. Um, VG Shorts Oracle. Okay, I, I was taking a look at this. So this is the latest um, seven hours ago, right? So this is the latest um, VG Charts report um, regarding hardware sales. And what we have, um, I, 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 dude, I'm not gonna lie, I'm impressed by PlayStation Five. Let's take a look. Okay, let's say let me see if they if they have this image, the nice image. Fortunately not. Uh but we have this. Global hardware estimates for September 25, like last month. Okay. PlayStation 5, one point almost one point at uh, one point hundred fifty thousand million, right? So it supports the 80 million mark. It's selling very well. Especially if, especially if you take in consideration that Sony has actually increased their console's price, right? Games are costing more. PlayStation Five it is not no um dot, is not launching too many new exclusive games. Still, it's managed to sell very well. And my personal opinion in this, and my personal theory um on why this is happening, is because one people are leaving Xbox, you no know, like on. Um, People are demanding for Xbox. So everybody's nah, nah, I'm not gonna not gonna stay here anymore. But but I think it's also because people are you no know, um buying console uh the console that they have many games already um bought on it loaded. They, people wanna carry their libraries. And the biggest games libraries that people have you no know, um I would say that that the two platforms that people have many games bought on are you no know, um in consoles are not unfortunately but 100 percent sure that it is playstation and on pc of course it's on steam right people want to carry their libraries they want continuation speaking for myself i have a playstation 5 and if playstation 5 didn't have a backward compatibility with playstation 4 bro i i'm not sure if i would have my playstation 5 
And if Sony brings PlayStation 3 backward compatibility to PlayStation 6, dude. Anyway, let's press oh, Switch 2 uh, over in a million, uh, like approximately a thousand units less than PlayStation 5, which is impressive, you know, because Switch 2 is cheaper and has just released. So it should be selling more than that, right? I don't know. Switch 1 still selling a lot, 300. 300k is a solid uh, number, especially for a console that's been around for almost 10 years, right? It's a very solid number. And now they have an Xbox series. Less than 50,000, 500,000, right? Dude, <laughs> Xbox is dead. I mean, I, dude, it's, it's nine times less compared to PlayStation 5. Xbox is done, my friends. I'm sorry, Xbox fans, but it is that's just reality. Okay, so back to the point. Uh, this is why they're going for this PC hybrid. So they are pretending that they're creating a, a new way to play your games. Yada, yada. It's not. This has been already created by Steam Deck like four years ago. Four years? Almost four years, right? This isn't anything new. And they are going for this because they can't sell their own console, their own hardware. They're going for Steam because their storefront is pretty much dead. Nobody buys games there anymore. They only had Game Pass and now they, they, have, they have just killed it like almost a month ago. Not a month, two weeks ago, right? Dude, here in Brazil, they, it doubled the price. The price, you no. Know? From 60 Brazilian reais, now it costs 120. It's crazy. It's stupid. It's insane, you know. Um, and now that they they launched this 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 uh, portable device, it runs like shit. But it costs a thousand uh, US dollars here in Brazil. It's fifteen thousand Brazilian reais, bro. Fifteen thousand, just for reference. If you work an entire year with a minimum wage, you earn approximately thirteen to fourteen thousand, so less than it. For an entire year, I'm saying. I know Brazil sucks, our economy sucks, but no, that's not the point here. Uh, even though developer position was put in the back seat, Microsoft and ASUS took a step in the right direction for PC handhelds. Uh, mm, well, I mean, I. I, I I don't know if that if that's a step in the right direction because when I think on Xbox, I, I I think on a console. That's what I want. Xbox is and will always be a console for me, a dead console that is, but still a console. I'll never consider this an Xbox. You no, know? so I I don't know. I I don't know if I think it's a step in the right. Perhaps it it is a step in the right direction. Um, if we take in consideration that they have no other option, right? So it, it's. I mean, nowadays they have no other option, right? Uh, especially the work done to optimize Windows and create the Xbox full screen experience uh, by turning off unnecessary background tasks. Okay, okay. Oh, so that's what they are talking about. All right, now I understand. Sorry. The team was able to squeeze out more uh, first, uh, first pass <laughs> shooters frame per second without upping the power limits, all while porting a Polish console like UI. Turns out the hardware is actually capable of even more than that, courtesy of Linux, of course. Hmm. Okay, so let's just jump straight to the table. Um, Ragalize performance compared. So, um, you know, come the is two uh, on this window for for um, forty seven again um, versus Linux um, sixty sixty two. Oh, so that's not the Steam OS. Okay, it's bad side. Okay, okay, got it. Ah, oh, damn, the 32 FPS difference. Here come the reverence too. Okay, this is... This is um, pretty much the same, right? Hogwarts Legacy 50 against 62, 60 against 65. Why are they testing the same game? Hmm. Okay. It's not like you get higher frame here, but those frames stay stable. Um. Oh, that's a big deal, actually. On top of that, top of all of this, cyber highlights 
Cyber highlights are waking up the Xbox Live from its sleep state is is instantaneous. Sorry, guys, on bad basite basite. I'm I'm not sure how to pronounce this. I know what it is, but I'm not sure how to pronounce it in English. Similar to how it's on Steam Deck on Windows, however, it takes up to 40 seconds the handheld to actually go into sleep state fans, um, with the fans turned off, and then a good 15 seconds to come back on. Cyber compares handheld to a book, arguing that you should be able to get it. In uh, to get it without having to wait or think about any issues like the controller sometimes becoming unresponsive on windows that's that sucks okay so uh after taking a quick read at this i this has just released so probably they will do tweaks you no know, in order to make it better in order to make it uh, explore the hardware uh, in a better in a better way still i think that it i still think that this you know um how can i say it will still get beat get beaten by you know uh, it will still not no matter how how much they tweak it i don't think it will ever be at the same level as the steam os on steam deck is i think that i think that the steam os is the i truly believe that steam os is the future for pc gaming Especially with if Microsoft, you know, keeps forcing this AI, taking screenshots and screenshots and stuff from Windows 11. I think that SteamOS will prevail in the end. Especially if if Valve keeps partnering um, with other, um, you know, hardware manufacturers like the we have the Legion Go SteamOS version, for example, and. Yeah, and imagine the Steam Deck too, bro. I can't wait for a Steam Deck too. I love my Steam Deck. It's such a good console. Anyway, that's, I just wanted to share this with you guys and let me know what you think in the comment sections. And please consider making a donation to the DI Detected Calls. All the links are in the description. And see you guys next time. Ciao.